Hello, this is Monkey Duran. I'll be doing my the continuation of my reaction to Blue Lock manga because I couldn't wait for the anime, and that's why we're gonna continue on with chapter one hundred. Okay, so we I don't see the title anymore, but okay, in we're gonna continue right to it. In Ren's place just now, he used Shido and Chigiri's body as shield. And then has to hide his movements from the goalkeeper's vision. Oh, he slid the ball to the right in an instant with his last action. With that, the goalkeeper couldn't see the moment he kicked. So their reaction was delayed. Damn, that's so that's so meticulous and so masterfully done. Well, it is Ren, so it is, it is to be expected. He had the enemy's vision on the top, on the palm of his hand for that. A blind shot. He's too good. Using all these higher level techniques and jump. Pretty cool, Itoshirin. Not good. I'm not putting myself in the game at all. Okay, so we're already having Isagi's dilemma for this for this portion of the story. And I'm not sure how he can get past this, especially since um, physically Isagi isn't really that remarkable. So he has to find a way to assert himself or at the very least um, get off Kairosu's guard. But it's not like Rin and Shido even need me to scar anyway. If this goes on, the match will be over without me doing anything. I need, I need to get rid of Kairosu's marking and become a piece for those two attacks. How can I prove my worth in this match? So how will he? And Isagi is probably this thinking the same thing I bet. In fact, everyone here not in the top six, including me, hasn't able to assert themselves at all. To the top six, we're all repl replaceable. Oh, okay. Don't fight the number one head on. Shut up. I do what I want and don't fight number one head on. So it's it's really hard, especially if they're this good, that they're already this destructive. How can they even assert themselves or even insert themselves within the um within the place of these two? Because that's going to be the, a, a key factor when it comes to team plays in an official match. And I guess that's one of the main reasons for the tryouts too. Oh, well, it's not, I guess. It is one of the main reasons of the tryouts to see who is the one who will be able to bring out the most po attack potential from our, what do you call this? Uh, from our top six. Okay, so, but even if we forcefully try to assert ourselves, they're still superior in scoring ability, so we'd end up being used as bait at best as anyway. Then I'm not gonna pass to you. I didn't ask you to. Uh, so the these guys are just these guys the top six are just minding their own world, and they don't even care that much for the <laughs> those that try out the the ego and the arrogance. <sighs> no wonder they're top six. So for now, I'm not gonna care about the flow. I'll just do what I can do and focus on presenting myself. Oh, we've got Chigiri proving himself now. Okay, okay, let's go, Chigiri. I wonder what the what the speedster is going to do. Okay, restart. Out of the way. Restart. Restart. Okay, out of the way number two. Okay, so we have Otto. We have Karasu what doing one on one with Shido and Otoya manning Rin. Otoya will always stick close to where Karasu is, even if I try to get between these two. If I don't Move with even more agility than Otoya, I won't get a pass. Oh yeah, so there's there's also this factor of um, speed and agility. Um, it's already been made a difference that speed, there's explosive speed, there's consistent speed, and there's this agility in, in Blue Lock. And it seems like that in terms of being agile, the one that's most agile is um, Otoya. And the one with most speed as of right now, it's Chigiri within Blue Lock because we've got Loki. That guy, that guy was so freaking fast. 
that guy's basically Mbappe. <laughs> and um, uh, I, f- I forgot the I forgot the the dude with the eyeglasses in Team V, the the one that tries to be smart, but is act is actually dumb. So, anyways, let's continue on with the chapter. Their comp- their combination is too good for that. Then the place where I could be of use is not waiting for a pass. In the center of the field where it's crowded, it's in the right side. Isagi Yoichi versus Chigiri Yoma. The way my legs can howl. Okay, so Chigiri is just capitalizing on his own strength. He's running at top speed at an open. He's running at top speed in an open space. I don't have to focus on play with those two. I'm going to get through the field with my own weapon. I'll accelerate even more. I'll stop him even if I have to push push him down. Look at me, Karasu. Accelerated even more. He's going faster. Do you not want these legs? Let's go, Chigiri. All right, red guy. I'll give you a chance. It's here. Oh, Karasu. You're not escaping, red hair. Getting ahead in the best timing possible. Too perfect, ninja dude. This right here is the best moment. Oh, let's go. That speed hypes me up. Chigiri with the connection. Okay. Hell yeah. Ah, Chigiri, he's become part of their attack. He created a new option for them and his, exe- and his existence was recognized. Nice one, K- Konoichi. I'm a man. You're useful. <laughs> so this is asserting and coexisting. So asserting and coexisting means creating a new option in order to add uh, that can be added to the plethora of attacks that the top that the pairs of the top six can employ within the match a way those not in the top six can survive perhaps the only way we start shit rin isn't even thinking of using me yori i see he keeps turning his face everywhere to assert the situation of the whole battlefield and calmly Forming passes with Rin. He's also doing whatever he can and try, desperately trying to be a part of the match. Then what what I can do right now is wait for a chance in front of the goal in a point where I can use my direct shot. Direct shoot. Okay, that's true. Capitalize on your strength. However, this guy is sticking to you like glue. Not letting you go, normal guy. It's Karasu once more. I'll get outside of his field of view with off the ball movements. I can still see you. Shit, I'm not done yet. In front of the goal over there. It's here, a perfect ball. It's a pass to Rin again. Damn it, no matter what I do, it's still... What? Oh, shit, they... They tried to shoot the ball at the same time. What the hell? Crap, what you... What you doing, guys? We're counting on you, Otoya. Right away to Karasu, since those two love, love clowning around so much. Leave the punchline to me. Oh no, it's 2-4 already. They have Richie. Richie is a magic term which means one piece away from completing a hand. Crap. But why did those two even crash on each other? It's because Rin can reach an optimal by playing and calculating and observing the whole field. And Shido is always always find the strongest place by moving on instinct. Oh, so we've got the so we've got the contrast between instinct and calculated um, thinking, instinctual instinctual thinking and calculated thinking. Even if they reach the same answer, their their process is different, so they can't link together. Oh, so it's destruct it's a destructive sort of rivalry okay perhaps the two have the worst con con compatibility damn i i i load i loaded too long to read that that was mine and they're just fighting you bumbling antenna you stupid eyelashes crack oh okay so their their rivalry he's gonna is Isagi going to be the one to link them up? Perhaps, perhaps he because there's that um, piece that broke, and we have 
Isagi saying, this is a piece that I can use. It's obviously not enough to just support the numbers one and two. When the two clash, Isagi finds a hint to asserting himself. Okay, let's go, Isagi. So, I guess chapter 100 was all just Kigiri roaring his legs through. But we've also got by the end of it, Isagi finding the piece he'll need to assert himself with the top six. Okay, so that's all for my reaction to you know, chapter 100 of Blue Lock.